dolls so recently I was going through various lipsticks that I own and I was kind of comparing the shades here and there and I figured that I would do a lipstick um, dupe video for you guys if you don't watch other lipstick dupe videos. A lipstick dupe is basically a cheaper version of a more expensive lipstick that's pretty much really close to the same shade. It could be like a little tiny bit different here or there. It could be has more of a red undertone or a more blue undertone but pretty much it's almost identical and you can pretty much get the same shade for a cheaper price. With that being said I am going to share some of my favorite dupes with you guys and I hope you enjoy it. So I have five MAC lipsticks lined up back here and I'm going to be telling you guys the shade of those and then I'm going to be showing you guys one or two cheaper alternatives aka dupes. So the first one I have right now is the one I have on my mouth right this second. It is Saint Germain from MAC. It is a like light Barbie pink. It's not too like hot or crazy. It's just a nice like pale pastel baby pink and it's really really pretty. This is like one of my favorite lipsticks. You can tell that I use this one quite often judging by the wear and tear on the lipstick itself. A great brand that is awesome for MAC lipstick dupes is Milani. Um, you can get Milani at various drugstores and this one is in the shade 45 Catwalk Pink. And as you can see, it's pretty similar. And as you can see, there might be a little bit of a shade difference. Like, um, this one might be like a shade darker. But it's actually really, really, really similar. And the formula on these Milani lipsticks works really amazing. I don't find that they dry out my lips. They stay on pretty well. And I believe Milani is about 5 or $6, depending on where you get it. And then another dupe for St. Germain would be... This one by the Maybelline Color Sensational New Vivids. It's not so much new now because it's been out quite a while. But this is in the shade 860 Pink Pop. So this is in Pink Pop. And you can see that this one is a little bit more poppy. Like it's a little bit more bam in your face. It's got more of a purple undertone. But it's actually really, really gorgeous as well. So there is another one. So you guys can see those three swatches right next to each other. Okay, so the next MAC shade is Candy Yum Yum, and this one is in a matte finish, so I do find that this one dries my lips out a little bit more, but this is a bright, like, this is more of a fuchsia Barbie pink, like a hot pink, rather than St. Germain, which was more of a light pink or a pale pink, and this is the lip gloss that I have as well, so I will swatch the lip gloss right next to the lipstick so you guys can kind of see um, the finish of both of those. Now as for the lipstick, the closest one that I have is this one called Fuchsia Flash and this is another uh, Maybelline Color Sensational Vivid and it is, it's pretty close. It, like I said, these vary, they're not identical but it's probably the closest one that I have found is in my personal collection. And as for the gloss, this is my um, Bonita Cosmetics. A velvet lip cream in Barbie's Muse. You can get these on their website for about three or four dollars I think it is and these are absolutely amazing. So yes I just love this one so much and it's just it is it's just straight up Barbie. If I feel like I want to be a diva for the day this is what I wear because it just it's so bam and in your face and just gorgeous. So that is very similar to Candy Yum Yum. Alright, the next one we have is a nude from MAC, and this one is Pure Pout. You can see it's just a nude, nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. It's um, kind of a more brown nude, but it's actually really nice. And the dupe I have for it is yet another Milani, and this one is in the shade Innocence. And this one is, the Milani is a matte finish, whereas Pure Pout is a mineralized rich finish. So it's a little bit more creamy, whereas this one's more matte. Looking at them kind of side by side, you can see that they're really, really close in um, color. And I don't know, it's just really nice. Um, with the MAC one, it does have a few like little glimmers in it here and there, but that's just because of the mineralized rich finish. Whereas, again, the Milani doesn't have that. It's just a matte finish. But as far as the shade goes, they're very, very similar. 
Next up we have Max Violetta and this one is a very deep purple. This one's actually really popular as well as Candy Yum Yum and Saint Germain but um, this one's just really really dark purple and the closest dupe I personally have in my own collection is this L'Oreal Color Riche. I believe that's how that's pronounced. I'm so sorry if it's not but this is the Project Runway edition and it is in the shade The Mystic's Kiss. And as you can see, this one is a little bit darker. It's actually quite a bit darker. It's more of a plum than a purple. Uh, but this one swatched next to each other. It's the closest dupe that I have for it. But they're, they're similar for the most part because they both have that nice plummy purple undertone to them. And I don't know, I just find that th these are the ones that are the complete, like, totally different but I feel like with my particular skin tone I can kind of pull it off and I'm pretty sure a lot of other people could too so that's why I figured I'd just throw it in this video just in case you can get your hands on the uh, Project Runway collection I don't know if it's still available anywhere I got this at a store called Big Lots for literally a dollar fifty when they were like mass closing out so I don't know if you were able to get your hands on this that is awesome my lipstick has been through a little bit of wear and tear. I accidentally dropped it right before this video, so that is why it has gashes in it, which is so sad, but it was $1.50, which I would have been more depressed if I would have dropped my MAC one, because obviously they're a little bit more expensive. Okay, and the last one we have here is Show Orchid. This was one of Gigi Gorgeous's uh, favorite lipsticks for quite a while, uh, a couple years ago, and it is very, very beautiful. It's like a fuchsia hot pink. It's just very pretty. And the dupe that I have for that one is actually an NYC that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, an NYC. Um, this is Expert Last... Uh, Rouge à la Vraie. I don't know how to pronounce that. I hope you guys can help me in the comments. But this is in the shade 405 Blue Rose. Now, this one is a little bit darker and it does have a blue like sheen to it. But they are so similar and it's so crazy because literally this was a dollar, like a dollar. That's so cool. So I just figured I would throw this one in here too because you guys can see that you don't necessarily have to pay a lot of money to get good quality products. And that's just the thing. Don't ever feel that when you watch someone else's videos here on YouTube that are makeup tutorials or things like that and they're using these high-end, you know, Too Faced, Urban Decay, Dior, Chanel, they're using all these high-end expensive products. Please never, ever, ever, ever feel like you have to use those products in order to get the same or a similar effect use what you have. That is the beauty of makeup. You can use what you have and create your own art piece on your face and it's so cool. So um, please keep in mind that you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars to get the look of the movie stars or the YouTubers you watch or anything like that. Just go to your local drugstore and take some coupons with you and see what you can come up with and I can guarantee you that you'll be happy in the long run because you're getting really similar shade for like a quarter of the price or a half of the price even. Even like two-thirds of the price is better than full price. I mean, come on, who doesn't love not paying full price for something? Like, come on, if you can get something at a cheaper price and have coupons and everything, you're gonna do it. I know I am. And that's, that's, you know, that's part of the reason that I make YouTube videos is to help you guys when it comes to getting things at an affordable price. And that's why I do my Dollar Tree hauls and things because you can get some awesome stuff from Dollar Tree. <laughs> so that is going to wrap up this lipstick dupe video. If you liked it, please, please, please give this video a thumbs up and let your friends know about it. Uh, if you want to see more of these videos, feel free to subscribe because I'll probably be doing more like eyeshadow. If you guys want to see like eyeshadow dupes or something like that for like high-end versus an expensive drugstore, uh, please, please, please let me know and I could probably do that for you. So yes, in the meantime, feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos and um, yeah with that being said I'm gonna go ahead and go and I will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you okay bye